Uh, hi, I'm Skinny Cheeks, and today I wanted to share a fun setup that I stumbled across when doing some testing on my Sorcerer. In my recent stream on Twitch, we were going through and testing the new scaling they introduced for a bunch of different proc sets, which I'll cover soon in a separate video, but we also tested just some various combos in general, and I was surprised at how good the results were with the hybrid setup we tried out. It wasn't full hybrid in that we didn't split our stats evenly across Magicka and Stamina, but there are definitely more Magicka-based things things in the stamina build than you'd normally run into. And one last thing before we go through the build, keep in mind that this is just week two of the PTS and a number of things could still change before this goes live. So this won't be a full build video, but just kind of a short walkthrough of the setup that I'm using. And you'll probably see more full builds coming out a little closer to the actual Blackwood release. So once we have a little better idea of where everything is going to end up. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So for the race, we're going Dunmer here. I think Khajiit and Orc are probably really close behind, but I went with Dunmer over Khajiit because I wanted the extra weapon damage to boost our procs a little bit further. And with the new Mythic Kilt, we'll get into that one in a little bit, it seems that our crit damage is high enough that Khajiit's crit bonus isn't quite as enticing. At least not also when you're getting the 15% crit damage bonus from flanking. Either way, still really, really close between all of the top options as usual. For the Mundus, I'm using the Thief. For food, we're using Lava Foot, but I'd use the Bystat Stam plus Health Food if I was taking this into a trial or a dungeon. I think Sustain would be fine due to us using Magicka abilities. For the potions, I'm using the standard Weapon Power potions. Alright, for the gear, we're using 2-piece Zahn, 5-piece Reliquin, the new Mythic Kilt, a 2-piece New Moon Acolyte, the Maelstrom Inferno Staff on the back bar, and the Vatashran Dual Wield on the front bar. All medium for the weight on the gear, all divines. Bloodthirsty with weapon damage enchants on the jewelry. And then infused weapon damage enchantment on the staff. A Nern dagger with the flame enchantment. And a sharp mace with the poison enchantment. So during the stream, Ify aptly named this the blender build. It really is kind of wild with all of the different pieces mixed in. So to go into some of the rationale behind the choices, Reliquin is bugged at the moment with the new proc scaling they introduced, but it does still seem to be the strongest choice for stamina DPS for single target damage and should be even a bit stronger once it's fixed. For the two piece Zahn, the proc scaling up hits really hard now and seems to be worth it over other monster sets, even with the one piece giving spell crit. And as we are doing some hybrid stuff, that spell crit line isn't completely wasted either. For the kilt, I'm sure this will be the next thing that people call dummy cheese, and who knows, maybe it does get adjusted further into the PTS, but here is a quick example of the uptimes with it on the last boss in the new Rock Grove trial. Pretty much 100% uptime, just a couple of spots where it dipped to 8 or 9 stacks very briefly. So this set is really good, especially for a one piece. Probably not as overpowered as a lot of people are suggesting, but definitely a little bit stronger than your standard five piece bonus, and it's only a one piece set. So for Vatashran Dual Wield, this set works really well with a lot of classes, but especially Stamp Sork since they don't have an Execute and this gives them one. And then for the Maelstrom Inferno Staff, while we won't get much damage from our Blockade of Fire since it's scaling with Magicka, we do get that really nice increase to our Light Attack damage from it. I think I got like 5 to 6k extra damage from my Light Attacks compared to what I was normally parsing with. And then for why I went with an Inferno Staff over a Lightning Staff, Sorks do get a buff to Lightning damage by 5%, but the Light Attacks on our bar will hit harder with the Inferno Staff, especially after you factor in Engulfing Flames, and also we will have a decent bit of burning up time with this setup, which will push up our damage that our Firewall will get as well. Probably pretty close either way, so I think if you wanted to go with the Maelstrom Lightning Staff on the back bar here, to keep with that Lightning theme on a Sork, it really wouldn't make too much of a difference. Not nearly as much of a difference as it would make on a Magicka build. And then since Blockade of Fire lasts 14 seconds, we get a nice bit of time on our front bar to cast more Shrouded Daggers with the Vatashran Dual Wield. And then finally for that two piece new moon, I chose that because it gives both weapon and spell crit, but a two piece agility would probably be nice here too. I like this having the spell crit too though because it slightly boosts a couple of our abilities that don't scale with stamina stats. And then finally, if you wanted to go a less hybrid-y route, more traditional route, you could just swap the back bar to a Maelstrom Bow as well and keep everything about the rotation and everything else will go through the same. For the champion points, I slotted Fighting Finesse, Deadly Aim, Backstabber, and Master at Arms. Thaumaturge seemed pretty close to Fighting Finesse and testing those back and forth, but I think Fighting squeaked out just a tiny bit ahead, but results may vary there. 
For the abilities, on the staff bar, I'm running the Unstable Clan Fear, Blockade of Fire, Hurricane, Barbed Trap, the Twilight Tormentor, and the Greater Storm Atro Ultimate. And then on the front bar, we have Unstable Clan Fear, Twilight Tormentor, Rending Slashes, Shrouded Daggers, Bound Armaments, and Flawless Dawnbreaker. We aren't casting Dawnbreaker, so looking back, it may have been better just to double bar the Storm Atro, since that would boost both our weapon and spell damage by 2%, and not just our weapon damage by 3%, but probably not a noticeable difference either way. You can also swap in Consuming Trap in place of Rending Slashes if you need a little more sustain help, or Endless Hail in for Blockade of Fire if you wanted to go with a bow back bar. For this rotation, I am doing a fully dynamic rotation in the video, but I'll show how I'm opening it up and then also give an option for a static version. So I start with pre-buffing the Twilight Tormentor, and this will be the only time I cast this ability. It will just be here for the passive damage for the rest of the fight. Then I pre-buff my Bound Armaments, drop my Storm Atro to the side, and lay down my Barbed Trap. And then I start Light Attack Weaving with my Blockade of Fire, Hurricane, Rending Slashes, and then Bound Armaments, and then Shrouded Daggers three times, followed by another Bound Armaments, and then another three Shrouded Daggers, followed by Bound Armaments. And then I messed up a bit here. I should have refreshed my Rending Slashes right here, but I kind of just kept spamming. But after that, I was just refreshing my wall every 14 seconds, Hurricane every 15 seconds, Barbed Trap every 18 seconds, and Rending Slashes every 10 seconds, then casting Bound Armaments every fourth skill. Since Shrouded Daggers ramps up in damage, it will pass up Rending about 50% health remaining and will pass up Bound Armaments about 33% health remaining. So you'll drop those abilities at those points and then everything else you'll want to cast throughout as long as you'll get the full duration from that ability. So it is dynamic, but with pets taking up two of our slots on each bar, there aren't too many abilities you actually end up having to keep up with, especially after you've dropped Rending Slashes and Bound Armaments later on into the fight. You can make this much easier as a static version as well, and you won't lose too much damage if you just want to cast all of your back bar dots together each time, and then bar swap and cast your rending slashes, and then bound armaments, then four shrouded daggers, then bound armaments, and then three shrouded daggers, rending slashes, and bound armaments. And then you just repeat it. The difference will be that rending slashes will be in the middle of your front bar rotation instead of the front and the back, and so you'll just kind of alternate back and forth between those two. You will lose one second of wall up time and cast your barbed trap a tiny bit too early here with this static version. You also won't have quite as many casts of bound armaments, but sustain should be okay since we're using blockade as one of our back bar dots. If sustain is rough for you going this static route, you could swap in consuming trap instead of rending like I mentioned earlier. And as a bonus to this all, if you did want to do the maelstrom bow back bar, these rotations work just the same since endless hail and blockade of fire are both 14 seconds each. So you'll just swap that in if you wanted to go with the more traditional setup. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. We'll see what happens in the rest of the PTS, but even if some sections of the gear end up changing, the rotation and skills should still be valid. I'll make sure to put a comment on this in the coming weeks if necessary. A big thanks to my current Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see how you can help support the channel, I'll have a link in the description below. And a special thanks to Nicholas, Simon, Privy League Guild on PlayStation's European server, and Cougar is Bay and the Cougar Town Guild. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, bye. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see how this does. Oh, I, I should probably refresh my rending slashes. That's probably be good, right? I'm just like ignoring it completely.
Alright, no more bound armaments. No more bound armaments. Dang, I don't... I actually don't know if I'm gonna get my Atro up. This is going too fast. I would have cast an early Dawnbreaker if I knew this was going to go so fast. We'll get a, we'll get a little bit of a Natro. What? What? Why did I get my... Why did I get my best parse with this? I guess it's a little under my two-handed one, but... <laughs> what? That's pretty... What a weird setup. So... Th what is this patch? So, Vatashron front bar. Maelstrom Inferno back bar. Zahn two piece, Reliquin five piece, Harpooner's kilt, and then a two piece new moon. Like, <laughs> so weird.